Alright guys, give me another one of those Valkyrie tutorial guides, this one's going to be on Chalet, and I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, for the first cam, you want to go into Library, on the second floor of Chalet, and you want to go just to the south window. You want to jump out the south window, and you want to aim at the tall tree on the, like, the little rocky part, past this big one, right over there. Do this quick, it'll take a tiny bit of practice, but it's not the hardest camera, and you get a lot of information. Alright, for the second camera, you're going to be going to the northwest window in the library. And this is just an easy one if you get like a shitty objective, say in casual, for like bar and game room. And you just want to go to this window, you want to throw it just at the top of this tree. For the third camera, you want to go to the west entrance on the first floor next to game room in the bar. And you want to throw it just on top of this tree right here outside. This camera is good for watching West Main, and it could watch Game Room, that little alleyway too, by the heli bed. For the fourth camera, guys, you want to go to the Game Room hallway next to the library stairs. And this camera is going to be watching West Main by the kitchen stairs and such. And you want to go onto the stairs, and you want to back up against the wall, and you want to aim just on the corner right here. And you're going to see the chimney there, and you want to throw it up. From here, you can see West Main up top, maybe if they're hiding in the corners up there. It's a really good camera, guys. I would suggest you use it. For the fifth camera, you guys want to go into Trophy Room, next to Kitchen. And you want to go to the western window, where there's all the SUVs and vans and stuff. And this is another way to watch West Main and the to see if they're repelling up the balcony. You can call it out to a friend or someone who's playing Master or Bathroom. So what you want to do is you want to lay down, is you want to find the tree, and you want to throw it as high as you can, should hear it connect, you can see a lot of the western side, and you can see their spawn in the balcony. For the sixth camera, you want to go into the office for the master bedroom of objectives. And you want to just go to the south window on the balcony, where they climb up on the ladder. And you want to just peek out this, and you want to throw it as high as you can, probably about here. It should land on this tree. So if you could just practice it, you want to just run out, throw it up, land right on it. Got a good view of the whole eastern side, the balcony, front of lobby, the peeking kitchen window. It's a pretty useful camera, but... If you're detected, people will probably know what it is. It's a fairly common camera in the higher tiers, I'd say now. For the seventh camera, you want to go into Master Bedroom on the second floor by the B objective, just above Kitchen Hatch. And you are going to open up the big doorway, not the window, onto the balcony. And we're going to be throwing it up to that tree, or just in that general vicinity. And you just run out in the beginning. And Chuck it up as high as you can. Should land about the m a little bit higher than the middle of the tree, but you'll just see if they're peeking the uh, trophy window, kitchen window, or if they they go down in the trench or if they're front lobby. It's a pretty good camera. The eighth camera, you just want to go to the same doorway, and this is for if you do get, let's say, the bedroom objectives, bedroom and office. This is probably some in capital, trust me, defend and ranked. But uh, we're going to be trying to get it on the tree right there. It's not that hard. Just line it up in the beginning of a round. Far enough. Throw it as high as you can. It's probably a bad thing, actually. Don't try to do it the highest you can. I mean, it gets you a really good view. But uh, the top of this tree, the camera can clip through sometimes and just land on the rocks and give you absolutely zero information. And it's sort of bullshit sometimes, so... The sketchy camera. For the ninth camera, you want to go to the library stairs and you want to go to the bottom by the blue hallway. And you just want to throw it just in here. What I like about this camera is that from here you can't really see it, but you can see them. And they're not going to see it, especially if they move down the stairs, even here, because they're going to be looking with their scope and 
if they have an ACOG, which they probably will, it'll be bigger. It'll block more. So, it's a decent camera to watch Blue Room. Now, the 10th camera, if they do find out that that camera is there, right over there, you could use this one. And you just want to go just by this little sink thing. And you want to throw it underneath it, right here. And you should be able to see the whole hallway if they move down the stairs too. So, I use this camera a lot for simple information, so I recommend it. For the 11th camera, it's a really simple one, but it's a bit hard to notice. You just want to throw the camera just underneath this little corner in here. It's hard to get it the first try. It takes a bit. Since it's inside, it's easier to get it in the first phase. I will do. So if they're looking in from here, they're not going to see it. From far out there, they're the actually this side will either block it or their scope will on an Acon. And the look about it is you can see around the ladder. You can't really see outside the termine hole. Plus, since the lighting will fuck it up anyway, because you know they fixed that. But uh, yeah, I use this camera a bit. And, uh, I would recommend you try it out as well. For the 12 cam, it's gonna be in this like the L bend of basement hallway. And getting a camera around here is probably the hardest thing for me. Especially, it's just all of them are just so obvious. Um, people, I, the ones I found, the ones I've tried, and people have found. The only one that really works is uh, this one, and it's if they're trying to do like a rush or something. And you just want to put it just down on the floor right here, right in the corner. And what I found is that you're able to see people if they come to the store because the barrels will block it. You can see their heads a bit. They push through. And if they're looking around the corner, the uh, scope will block it, and they won't see it from here. I mean, it's just always out of the peripheral vision perfectly. And it's it's really convenient. So this is probably one of the best cameras for over here, I'd say. For the 13th camera, you want to go into the US main lobby or the main entrance next to the kitchen, and you want to go down the stairs a tiny bit towards the wine cellar. And you want to look at the third stair, and you want to just throw it underneath it a bit, about there. Sometimes it stops it, but if you get it on the, it'll go like 360 around. This camera is really good for information its reliability is insane i just you have to like lay down and shoot it it's like it's a really hard camera to shoot if someone finds it or knows where it is so even then i'd use it all right guys that's it for the cameras what we're going to be doing now is i'm going to be showing you a nitro spot and you want to go to the, the lobby stairs going down into the basement snowmobile garage and you want to crouch right here, and you want to aim your nitro cell just over here. You want to be sure you crouch. You want to be just down a bit because it's really close nitro. It'll land on the ledge if not. And you want to throw it just below that, and it'll land right there. Now from here, you can actually detonate it and kill thermite sometimes if he's like. He won't die if he's planning the charge, but if he's like trying to trick it, then he will die. It's r it's a really close thing. Like I don't know, I'll show you. Give me a second. Okay, so if you're standing next to the garage and you're planning it to say, it will kill you, even from there. So it's a really good night to saw. For the 14th camera, you want to go back to the office on the second floor next to the bedroom. And this camera is another way to get information outside of snowmobile garage. This camera is also a gamble because if they spawn there, they could come up and just kill you. It's pretty, like, I don't know. Another good way to do this as like a backup is if you really need to get out of here, uh, you can shoot this window down or break it. What you want to do is you want to just run out here, and you want to throw the cam just to this, this tree, and just above the house. And you'll be able to see the whole, like, southern side of the map. It's really good. You can see if they're coming up top too over here. It's actually a decent camera if you want to see them from the kitchen window, see if they're peeking it. Other than that, it's not too useful. If say you need to get out of here, from right here they can't shoot you, but you could just like book it and jump down. 
You'll lose some likes, but I think you'll be fine in general. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm working on a music video for this game. Sort of montage thing. It's not going to be like my first one. It's going to be really good, hopefully. It's a new video that no one's ever done yet. And, uh, yeah. If you liked it, subscribe. If you want any videos to come out, maybe recommend some or what you think about the video in the comments. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.